All right, so working on a 2006 Volkswagen GTI. It's a two liter turbo, direct injection. This is a BPY is the engine code. It's an FSI motor. Um, customer complaints to check engine light. So, take you to the scan tool. Okay, so the engine light is on. Um, there are two faults stored. One is for the mass airflow. That's because I have the engine cover off and it is a part of that. But uh, what I want to focus on is this P2293 fuel pressure regulator valve N276. Mechanical malfunction, lower limit reached, intermittent. So let's go look at some data pads. Custom, deselect. And there is, there's a low pressure fuel pump, or sorry, well there is a low pressure fuel pump, but there's a low side and a high side fuel system on this car, so. There's a transfer pump in the tank <clears throat> that supplies pressure to the high pressure pump and the low pressure spec is I believe four to five bar at idle and the high pressure pump can generate pressures I mean 40 to 40 to 50 bar is specification for this engine so that's what I'm looking for but I don't see don't see those data pids on here so what I'm gonna do if we're gonna back all the way out of this change vehicle go to scanner Volkswagen we're gonna go into expert mode Engine management master. Yes, it does have a 16. Auto detect. Continue. And now we are on VAG communications. So check DTC memory. And same thing fuel pressure regulator valve N276, mechanical malfunction. It's a P. 2293 lower limit reached so I know under measure value that measure value 106 is fuel pressure if it will give it to me We'll just go to one first. Or zero, what the heck? One, zero, six. Okay, so here's our 106. This is it. It says absolute pressure, and it's under bar, and that's 50 bar, so that should be our fuel pressure. 70, eh, maybe not. All right, so I found it. This one's under 103. This is our low side because this has a, a low fuel pressure sensor right on the high pressure pump. And this is reading in millibar, so almost 4,000 millibar, which comes to about four bar. So this would be our low side pressure, and I believe spec is four to five at idle. That looks pretty good. If we go up here to 106, this is our fuel pressure. I know it says absolute pressure, but if we went on a factory scan tool, it would that would be our high fuel pressure. So we're at about 50 at idle right now. That's a, 
That's a good number. 84. So, I know that these motors are known for the cam followers wearing out and rubbing through the high pressure pump and damaging the pump, damaging the camshaft. So, honestly, that's that's the first thing I'm going to look at. It's just it's just a known issue. They're not hard to check. So that's where I'm going. So I got the engine cover already off. This is our low side fuel pressure sensor. I believe it's G410 would be the Volkswagen DIN identifier. And down here in our rail, well, that's it. kind of hard to see, but that is our rail pressure sensor. It's our high pressure pump right here. It's our N276. And basically, the shaft of this pump is driven by the camshaft. There's a little follower in there that wears out. And when it wears through, it wears into the pump and damages the shaft of the pump. And it damages the end of the camshaft. And that will definitely change your fuel pressure, especially under high load situations. So we're gonna pull this pump off. I need to be careful because this is my high side line. So what I do is I'm gonna take this little 13 off, let the pressure bleed off from the low side, but I'm gonna let this car sit a little bit before I do that. And then you crack this 17 and basically just take these T30s out, pull the pump back and take a look. All right, so I just got my amp clamp hooked up to my N276. And I just wanna get an amperage reading just to see if there's any way that we could do this without ripping it apart next time so I just want to compare amperages and right now let's see here, there is about nine amps of current going through that get another amperage reading and just compare if the amperage is much higher then we will have a known good and that will be another way to look into a camshaft issue one thing I wanted to mention, when you're taking this apart, these pumps put out so much pressure. I, the spec of this car is 40 to 50 bar at idle, which is like 500 to 600 PSI. So you need to be careful when you're taking these apart. You just gotta be careful. Safety glasses. Um, you could Maybe pull the relay and crank it over. Unplug your high pressure pump, crank it over. Just anything to get that pressure out of there before you come over here cracking it loose because you can seriously be hurt. Just direct injections are pressure and the electrical systems, high voltage, high amperage, high pressure. Just gotta be careful. All right, so I got this high pressure pump pulled out. And right here, the shaft rides on the cam, and this is what drives the high pressure pump to generate that high pressure. And it runs off the cam that's in there. And it's, you can see right there, all that scoring. And this high pressure pump should not look like this. So that is the problem. Angle with this light so you can see all that scoring. And there's a follower that rides in there. Let me show you where the follower is. Right here. It should be sitting on the end. You can actually see this pump should not be moving like that. It's actually broken. It's really. Try to get a nice shot. Too shaky. I'll grind it off right there, and that's the follower right there. That should be, should sit on the end. And 
it just rides on that cam. And there's four lobes on that cam that hit this pump to generate that high pressure. So we are not getting the fuel pressure we need under load or under high demand situations. Basically because this pump is broken and the cam is worn so it's not going to basically push this in as far as it needs to. So this car needs a high pressure pump, the follower, and the camshaft. Let's get one more shot in there. Should be nice and smooth. So high pressure pump, cam follower, and a camshaft. Well, not a super hard to diagnose in this case. Um, the only reason I went straight to this is because uh, this is just a known issue. Um, other than that, we would have done the same thing. We would have looked at fuel pressures. And if our fuel pressures would have been low, then we would have went in whichever direction that put us. If we'd have had low, low side pressure, then we would have went to the low side. Um, low high side pressure, which we probably do have under uh, some conditions, then, you know, that's where we would have went to, but we would have went looking into this solenoid of the high pressure pump, made sure we had control there. But, uh, not too bad. Like I said, the only reason I went here is because it's a known issue. I've done enough of these. So, we're done here. Needs a camshaft, cam follower, and a high pressure pump. Not too bad of a job to do, but thanks for watching.